That's how you get them. <laughs> Somebody's purse is here. Is it your purse? Yes. Okay. I want you to know when they ask me who makes me laugh, I said you. Of course. Okay. So, so stay here for this thing. I'll sit over here, but you're in. Yeah, okay. Oh, well, you do. I, I, unlike you, don't require the attention just on me. I am a whore. I require... <laughs> <laughs> I am an attention a, whore. A whore implies you get paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm working for free? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So have a seat. Sit out here with me. All right. Mm -hmm. What's up? Well, uh, first... Are, you, are, you, are we rolling? Uh, first of all, Jay, uh, you know, uh, you have a hit show in your hands, Real American Meals. Uh, yeah. Explain to me, like, um, uh, what makes this show special to you and what will make it special to the people that do the show? Here's what I think is neat, okay? We've seen lots of cooking shows. I mean, there's an entire network devoted to cooking shows we've seen before. But I think the idea behind this is let's take a look at what America is doing in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And that's... I think that's what's going to make it different. You know, we can go in and see what real Americans are cooking in their houses right now, the kind of meals. And with Brian Herzlinger, <laughs> how did I get over here? <laughs> I was just over there. With, with him, I think what we have here is a guy who uh, explains it to lay people, explain, makes it palatable for men. Because let's be honest, you, know, mm -hmm. I, you can tell I'm very manly. <laughs> from the way I'm dressed and how, you know, I'm very, and you, you know, you look like you could grow a beard just by thinking about it. Um, <laughs> a lot of testosterone for you just, you know, pops out. Um, you know, it, we don't watch cooking shows, and I think what might might bring men into this is the humor element that Brian brings to it, which mm -hmm. I'm, I'm really excited about. So. I'm very virile. Yeah. So I think, I think we get to look at what families are doing, <coughs> we get to uh, see Brian, make it funny, and do some uh, interesting stuff. Yeah, you're quite a funny guy yourself. Um, uh, tell me uh, who makes you laugh. Uh, not Brian Herzinger. I would say number one <laughs> on my list of not making me laugh. Well, of course, Brian. Yeah, of course. Um, my my favorite comedian of all time is uh, Chris Rock. Mm -hmm. um, when I watch Chris Rock perform, I hate myself. Because mm -hmm. I always say it's like watching Michelangelo paint and then going to do caricatures out on the boardwalk. Like, I am not even in that vicinity of awesome. And my son. My son is a little stinker. He makes me laugh every time he opens his mouth. So mm -hmm. those are my top three. Herzlinger, Rock, and Keen Black. Those are the top three. <laughs> Not in any particular order. Yeah. <laughs> Not in any and, particular order. And by order. the way, they're going to be touring together this year. Yeah. <laughs> a big hot ticket. Uh, I'm sure that's going to be a sellout. Too. That's right. The Rock Herzlinger Black Tour. I think it's going to work great. <laughs> oh, so I'll say, um, I, I asked um, um, Brian this question earlier. You're going to be, guys are going to be going into a lot of American uh, homes and a lot of different cultures. What cultures are you looking forward like, to going in and seeing? I think there's so many different groups of people here, you know, like, mm -hmm. I, for instance, Indian culture, they mm -hmm. have a huge amount of food that they cook, they have curry, I mean, we all even, you know, we know Indian food equals curry, I'd like to see what their, their experience is like, something I have, I don't know, I don't know anything about, mm -hmm. that would be interesting to me, you know, I, uh, I, I'd love to see that, mm -hmm. absolutely. What was the typical setting of a family dinner at your house like growing up? Uh, I am a child of the 80s, which means I'm a child of divorce, which means I lived with my dad, mm -hmm. and it was, hey, what did grandma make for us that we can eat cold in the refrigerator? That was, <laughs> it was me, my brother, and my father living together and um, just devouring food like wild wolves, trying to get it down into our bellies as quickly as possible so we could go back and watch TV. And you so grew up where? I grew up in Jersey. In Jersey? Uh, we grew up together. Oh, a mile okay, from yeah. Herzlinger. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I, so to me, one of the things I like about this, as a you know, child of divorce, buddy, mm -hmm. is, uh, is getting to see you know, what other family experiences are like. Because, you know, I love my dad, but we, again, we didn't have that big, let's sit around the table. How was your day at school, son? It was, you know, let's throw cold chili at Jay and uh, try it. He'll eat it as it lands. <laughs> uh, Cold chili. Yeah, I was I was like a performing seal at home. I was trying to get food down. So it, it'll be nice to see. You know, I I love that. You know, I'm I'm married now. I have uh, my family. It, my wife's family is Italian, mm -hmm. and they do the Sunday dinner thing. In fact, I missed that today because we're filming. But I got video from it because mm -hmm. that's how important it is to them. And having not had it, I love love being a part of it. Well, it's amazing. You guys, like, I seem to, to have a synergy together. You work together really, really well. And I understand that that started, like, ever since you guys were uh, kids. Um, tell me about, like, how you guys met. Fourth grade, mm -hmm. you're in line. 
Oh, she wants Wait, me to come. Oh, she wants to Give come me a two-shot now. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Wait for it. So Herzlinger moved in from... Uh, Looks like I'm doing now. Yeah. <laughs> from, was it Brooklyn? No, the I Bronx? lived in Queens. No, I mean, I was born in Brooklyn, but I lived in Mount Holly. No, make it better than Mount Holly. I lived in Lumberton. You, no, 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 don't make it further away. You came from New York. All right, I was George, you so came, I have to have an epic journey. You came from Krypton. Right. I, his <laughs> father put him in a space shuttle and yes. fired him off Krypton yes. right before it exploded. A space shuttle? A, a crystal sphere. Yeah. <laughs> I like the off. Discovery brought <laughs> Superman to, to Earth. Right. Uh, and, uh, I was uh, from New York, yeah, to Jersey. Ran into him in the in the uh, lunch line. Wow! Yeah. Yeah. Just killed a cat. You didn't see it. Yeah. <laughs> cat. He was uh, he was in front of me, and I, I was in front of him. Yep. I was in front of him in the lunch line, and he mentioned a uh, he made a joke about the BCS from Police Academy from Police Academy Two, their first assignment, and I said, body cavity search. And I went, someone got me and laughed, so I'll be your friend. Forever. That's all it took. Yep. I'm an easy... Now you're laughing at me? We're friends now, buddy. That's all it takes. I'm very easy. BTS. And we were friends... That's, uh, excuse me, I have uh, a uh, irritable bowel syndrome, and it makes high squeak noises whenever, uh, whenever I get very nervous. Um, we were, I mean... Yeah, we've been even, friends since fourth grade. That even was fourth when he was grade. in college. Here's the problem about Herzlinger, though, I'll tell you. Um, That's what they want to know. No, here's... My problem. No. In sophomore year of high school, he decided he was going to be popular, and that didn't work for me. It was a natural evolution no. of, of me. No, you made a <laughs> conscious decision. You said, I'm going to be friendly. Because I was sick of hanging out with you in your basement yeah. watching Wade's World on Laserdisc. That, and yeah, you, you, I, I'm not doing that anymore. I'm done. I got my, more. My basement was great. It didn't have a lot of girls. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, maybe zero that was, girls. That was the time I woke up with my hands tied behind my back to... It was with a pentagram above my head yeah. and playing that uh, what was enigma. That music? enigma music. <laughs> he was he's so good. They stole my gra my sophomore ring and oh, it was horrible. He just played a little joke. I was yeah. very uncomfortable. I've never been able to go in a basement since. Yeah. But uh, no, I used to visit him in college. Remember, I drove yeah. up in the middle of the night and surprised you. He surprised me, and then he he hooked up with a girl I was interested in, and there was no reason for her either of us to be interested. Yeah, in Yeah, not there good. Was, there was yeah. A, that was a mess. Yeah, you're the one who hooked up with her. I asked for <laughs> I asked I your permission. You did, and you gave. It I was sitting and in the hallway. And he me like a girl. He, got he was hooking up with her in my room while I'm sitting down the hallway studying. <laughs> no, I asked Who's her, popular now? Here's what I did. I came out and I said, Brian, I think there's a chance I could hook up with her. Do you mind? And you said, I don't mind. What about you? I was sitting on the floor no. in the hallway. And then I left and hooked up. And then the next day you went, I can't believe you hooked up. <laughs> like you were all mad. Yeah, but he drove up. He, you, you, needed, you needed a friend. You needed a life experience, yeah. so I thought that was the thing to do. And you know what? Now what's great is that I'm never depressed and I never call you. Yeah, I'm yeah. Like yeah. Depressed. Why do you think I moved all the way across the country? <laughs> <laughs> well, here I am. I know, you found me. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how, they found me. Run, Marty. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We've been together for a long time. Yes. Uh, and you guys, I understand, have a project coming up, like uh, uh, almost uh, going back to the police academy days. Uh, well, well, yeah. We, we actually um, we did a, a rewrite. A polish. Yeah, polish. A polish yeah. on the uh, new Let's police academy. Over Let's not overstate. Let's not overstate. Yeah. No, we, we actually got a chance to work on the new police academy. We don't know how much of what yeah. we did will get in, but just working with uh, Paul Mislansky and the guys at New Line, that, I mean, that's, I mean, there, I don't know who you probably, if you met like, uh, you know, Pulitzer, I don't know who, you know, you'd be like, oh my God, us, Paul Mislansky. Like, well, Steven Spielberg. Paul Mislansky. Paul Mislansky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. No, it was it was just awesome. We grew. I mean, Police Academy brought us together, so it was awesome, yeah. a great opportunity. And we've been writing our own scripts. You know, we wrote a we wrote a thirty million dollar movie for for Summit Entertainment and Mandalay Pictures, and, and and we've been you know our our dream, our goal is to get our scripts made. Right? Mm -hmm. That's that's what our dream is, and we're we've started to get into that now, and we're really excited. We've got like three projects on the horizon that uh, that you know one of them is is, is uh, this this Christmas movie. That we just, it's it, by far, I don't know about you, it's just my favorite of our projects, and it's just a blast. And we've got a vampire comedy, and we've got a monster movie, and you know, I just, just want to, I just want to clarify, his dream is to get the movie. My, I, you pay me, I don't care. <laughs> so I'm just letting you know, Hollywood. I, the balance. This is the yeah. balance. Yeah. He is an artist. I am a commercial whore. So you <laughs> just, whatever you need, I will do product placement. I whatever, whatever you need, I will take. I somehow find that really hard to believe. Both of you guys are hilarious. I think that you guys are destined for big, big success. Uh, thanks, Thank man. you, buddy. You and, too. Uh, uh, That's the way you're dressed. <laughs> <laughs> you're dressed for success. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, and I want to say, Brian Hartson and Jay Black, two people that you should definitely know. Tune in more to the Scoop LA. Mm-hmm.